Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Tonight we're going to be going over the second part of working with the execute, execute with parameters operation that is um, available in the data control. Last night we put a button on a on a form <coughs> that was basically just dragged over from the um, data control over and we set the um, value of the PID for this uh, in the bindings here. Let me show you here. Um, click on there and then go over in the lower left and the PID and then go into the upper right and you'll see the department's ID input value. And that will say that when you go to a certain department and then you press edit, it will take you to the employees of that department. Well, tonight we're going to go over a slightly different way of doing that. I'm going to remove the go imp um, value here. I'll try to get this control. Come on. There we go. And we're going to get rid of the button completely, um, which will also remove that, <coughs> excuse me, from the uh, form. And this is like the sole of the button. It doesn't seem to disappear until you get rid of it a second time. And if we go back into the bindings, you can see that the execute with the parameters is gone. And um, this is actually probably a preferred way of doing it for two reasons. One, because the task flow will, um, oh, excuse me, I have to do one thing here. The task flow will show you um, what you're going to be doing. Um, and if you hide it under a button, it may not be visible to the next person who uh, works on this application. So what we're going to do is, um, first of all, I'm going to take this value and copy it into here. Okay. Um, and uh, let's see, I think I'll do it this way. I'll take the button first. I'm going to create a button here, and, um, and I'm just going to say edit. Okay, and um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, operations here, and uh, we're going to take a set property. Set action listener is uh, the legacy um, method. Set property is the newer one, so use that if you can. Some uh, websites will show, or some videos will show that, but this is the newer one, and we're going to copy that into there. And what we're going to do is go into the um, expression builder here and um, just because I can't type very well I'm going to go into the page file scope and double click on that and then we're going to put whatever we want here depth id param and uh, believe me this is just whatever you want now basically by specifying this you're actually um, making a parameter that's going to be maintained in the page flow scope. Now the page flow scope is um, anything that is within a task flow, um, ADF config being a task flow. So um, it'll be held within memory. And so we've now wired this button so that when you press it, it'll do a set, oper uh, set property listener and it'll pop the value of the input value into the page flow scope department ID param and it is an action which I did not mention so we're going to take this now copy and paste that go over to our page and now we're going to drag the method onto there and like last night instead of putting the department ID input value in we're going to put the page flow scope in there okay and that'll create this execute with params we're going to do edit here we can go back to our table and put edit there. But we also have to set the action listener over here on the lower right. Uh, the edit will then, it'll do two things. One, it'll do the set property listener. And it'll cause it to go over to the execute with params, which is the method. And then it'll cause it to go over here, which is um, there. And I'm just going to leave that the name it is. So now we have our form. We can go press edit. It'll uh, do that function and then or that method and then we'll go over to the employees table and you can see that this is on the task flow so it's quite visible and you know what this is doing um, the, one of the problems I have with J developers is, is that you can put things anywhere and um, under a button you don't really see what's actually happening unless you really look inside the button <coughs> excuse me so, and you can also see that um, over here you have um, the XML formed 
when you put this on the um, on the config file. So you actually have an XML um, execute with params page up for that. And um, if you delete this, by the way, it will delete out. Why did you delete it from there? So let's save this, and we're going to give this guy a run. Um, and typical, I did not start the server instance until time, so bear with me, please. Okay, well, here we are. We're on department 20, and we have our edit button. Uh, let's go to the next one and see if there's anybody in there. And there are. Let me go back. And I'm not sure how I'm going to first edit. And there you go. So this does work. So let's do a quick review. Instead of having it under the button, we place the execute the param, dragging it onto the ADFs, uh, onto the task flow, and um, put the edit there. And um, by putting a set property listener down here on the lower left with these values in it, we were able to load this value into a page flow scope ID, uh, department ID parameter and then refer to that in here you can see there it is no excuse me where is it um it's somewhere here it refers to that taking the value and changing it there so that is um how it's done and uh, it's quite easy to do and actually i think here we have the bindings there it is um Interesting. I don't see the value that we set it to, which is okay, but it would be interesting to see where it is. Um, execute with params. There it is. There, taking the page flow scope. So, okay, uh, that's how you do that. And this is actually a good segue because this is probably what we're going to be doing when we have the employees view in its own task flow. And we'll be calling that from this main task flow, and we'll be going to here. Thank you very much, and have a great evening.